Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I finally have the Yankee Candle scent of the year for 2022. So I have reviewed previous years. We did have um, the 2019 scent of the year that was called One Together. We also had one in 2020 called Awaken. There was then a third one in 2021 called Discovery, which I've reviewed all of those and I will put the links down below. But 2022, we have Inspire. So this has just come out in the last, say, week or so. Um, I think the Yankee Candle website released it about a week from this video going up when I've scheduled it for. So it's been out for a while. There's quite a few people already getting their hands on it, a lot of collectors grabbing it. Because like I say, the scent of the year has only been around since 2019. We get one a year. Don't know how long they'll carry it on for, but this is now the fourth scent we've had for the scent of the year. So previously, I've not been overly impressed with the scent of the year. They're, they've always been really weak, I found. Um, I've never really had one out of the three so far that have made me go, wow. Um, Discovery might have been the best ones to date. Um, so that is why I had to get Inspire. I wanted to know what it was going to be like. So to start off with, absolutely love the style of the jar. This print is all the way around it as well so you can see there you've got your normal little bits of writing on there and it goes all the way around we've got yankee candle inspire inspiration scent of the year 2022 the wax is just a, a creamy off-white color i did start burning this by the wick um, and then i did also use it under the lamp so i could do a comparison of the two so I will also put a link to this in the description down below of the Yankee Candle page. So they have got a whole page on this. Um, it says, Discover Inspire, our 2022 scent of the year, an uplifting blend design, designed to inspire us to celebrate the everyday moments that bring us joy. It also says, Uplifting and radiant, the 2022 scent of the year is inspired by Ikigai, the popular Japanese philosophy of living a long, happy life. And yes, I did have to Google how to pronounce that because I've never actually heard of that myself. It says an intriguing citrus fragrance with green notes to create a sense of joy in your home and sea breeze aromas to invigorate the senses. Inspire is available in our original large jar candle for a very limited time. So you cannot get this in any other formats, only the large jar here in the UK. So the top notes, we have rainforest lime, ginger, verbena, with mid notes of bamboo, freesia, ocean breeze are called, and then base notes of cedar, seaside driftwood, sun musks. So it is available on their website right now. And like I say, it is linked down below. It is currently $27.99. There is some other places that are selling it as well. Um, slightly cheaper. If you have a look at like um, Temptation Gifts, um, Candles Direct have this as well. And I believe Wax Addicts have the crumble pot or get in the crumble pot as well if you just want a little sample. Did also get this as well, just sitting on top of the candle just something a little bit fancy just because it's a lot of people will collect this as it's the scent of the year so I did like I say I burnt this from the wick and I also burnt it under my lamp so comparisons through from burning it through the wick I didn't find it as strong as putting it under my lamp I did find that the lamp helped this perform a lot better and a lot stronger um when it was burning through the wick it was really hard to feel like the large living area that I was trying to feel. So you might be okay if you're burning it by the wick, but you're in a much smaller room. But on cold, it was very limey, very gingery. So I thought I'm not just going to carry on burning it by the wick and, and think badly of it. I thought I'll give it a go under the lamp. And thank God I did because the lamp has really helped make the scent travel further. I picked up more notes in it. And I do also feel like it's made the candle last a lot longer as well. So I don't know, you can't really see because of the pattern on the jar, but I have burnt it all the way down to here. Um, I didn't go far down. I let it pull um, a couple of times by burning it through the wick before I gave up and put it under the lamp. So my recommendation, if you have got a lamp and you do buy this scent, it is going to perform better underneath the lamp. So on cold, like I say, 
it's it's really hard to explain so on cold i found it very very limey very gingery and i don't know if anyone's gonna know what i mean but um i'm i'm 28 years old and when i was a lot younger um i know my mum and dad used to give me this um this yellow medicine but it was one that didn't taste bad it was it was one not cow pole which we have here in the uk it was i don't know it was it was always in a sort of a a, a cloudy looking bottle and it was like a yellow medicine and it had a, a particular smell to it and i know it's going to be really weird to say this is what that candle reminded me of because i cannot for the life of me think what that medicine was called but if you know what i'm talking about and you're around the same age as me from when you was younger that is what it reminded me of, first of all. You know, sometimes you smell a scent and it just takes you back to certain times in your life. That's what mine brought me back to, which doesn't sound great because it's medicine, but it was always a nice tasting one. So <laughs> that's the one thing it made me think of straight away. So when I was burning it, the main notes from this that come through for me are the lime and the ginger. So very true to the cold smell of it. It's it's quite citrusy but not like it doesn't make your nose curl it's got some nice sort of musk in there as well i wouldn't say that i get any sort of floralness from this i don't really get the freesia i don't really get ocean breeze or verbena this for me is mainly the, the rainforest lime and the ginger which are the top notes i can definitely get some musk in there the sun musks there is there's definitely that very slight tone but that is why it is a, a base note because it is very subtle in there but for me if you like your citrusy scents i do think you're going to really like this it's still it's not absolutely amazing like jaw hitting the floor amazing but i would personally say it's the best scent of the year so far so 2019 2020 2021 were all pretty meh I was a bit disappointed of spending the money on it but inspire i would happily say i'm quite happy to buy a large jar of this um obviously i paid out for the large jar so i could show all of you guys it but paying nearly 30 pound well i think with postage from yankee candle it came to just over 30 pound but to get that and then have no scent it's so so disappointing so on this occasion I'm quite glad that I did get it. I'm quite glad that I got the large jar because it has been lovely. It's still not a super, super strong scent. So if you are filling a really large area um, or you are sort of a fan of the really strong sort of foody scents or even floral scents, this is very, very different. So I would say you've got to be a fan of your citrus scents and your ginger scents because ginger, I find, is quite an acquired scent to like. So like I say, it's not super citrusy and like acidic -y. It's It's got a nice like mixture of those two main notes with that hint of the musk. It is probably the first scent of the year that I would actually recommend trying if you do come across it. Always a bit of steep paying out for a large jar for you not to like something. But like I say, Wax Addicts will do a crumble pot in this as well if you want to try it first. But I absolutely... I'm confident in saying this is the best scent of the year that Yankee Candle have done so far. Really pleased with it. Happy that I've paid the money. It isn't one of those ones that I'm, I'm really disappointed in and feel like I've wasted any money. So still not the strongest. Throw, throw rating, burning it from the wick for me was quite low. So I'm going to go off of the fact that I've, I've burning it in my open plan living room. I put it under the lamp throw rating i'm gonna say a seven out of ten so still not super high um and like i say it's it isn't the most amazing scent they've ever done it's not as strong as like black cherry it's not as strong as vanilla cupcake your standard like cinnamon stick sort of scents it's it's not as strong as those favorites but just comparing it to the last three scent of the year scents this one is definitely the best one and you really can smell that lime and that ginger in it. So if you are a fan of those sort of scents, I would definitely recommend trying to get hold of one of these. So Yankee Candle, well done. I feel like this one is a little bit more of a more vibrant, a more, um, I, I don't know. I feel like the other three scents they did were very dull. Um, this one feels like a bit more fun. It's a bit lighter. It's a bit more, I'll put a pun in and say zesty because it's got lime in it which it is so yeah i 
I would recommend this. I do personally think it's worth burning it. I personally wouldn't hoard this. Um, if you're a, a big, big collector, I know you probably will if you've got the other ones. But I don't think it's that nice that it's worth hoarding for years, thinking that it's going to cost loads of money one day. I would just get it and burn it. It's It's been a lovely burn, but I don't think it's one for the hoarding shelf. <laughs> so, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know if you get Inspire. I know it is also out in America as well. Um, I think it should be out everywhere that stocks Yankee Candle, I believe, because it is it is their one cent of the year that they do all around. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts if you do get hold of this. Like I say, best scent of the year so far, but still not as strong as some of their, um, their main staple candles that I call like the black cherry, the cinnamon sticks, the ones that are out all the time. Still not as strong as those, but definitely comparing it to the last three, much much better and definitely on the right path moving forward so as always thank you for watching and i'll get a new review out for you soon